change of plans. It's raining too much. I'm going back home and going there later if it's when it stops raining. Ah, fucking frustrating. Vienna sucks in winter. And it's not even winter yet. Ah. Alright, second try. Weather got a little better. Let's go. So that was the Fairversity exhibition in the MAC, the Museum for Applied Arts. Nice place actually. Exhibition, yeah, was okay. I expected a little more. It was, I don't know, the, yeah, it was just an exhibition. And there were some workshops now, but I don't attend them now because I have to go. Maybe they would have been a little bit more interesting. Um, otherwise, yeah, maybe I was not the right target group for this exhibition. The thing what, what disturbed me most was that the speeches were in a big hall, in a big room, and it was like this, like on an airport somehow, people were passing by in the back, very loud, so poor sound quality. That's what I didn't like. I mean, it was probably good content, but awful to listen to, sorry. All right, let's pack for Graz. Hmm. Alright, I packed, it took me only 10 minutes, which is good. Now I'm going to the 10th district, getting the car, going back, getting my stuff to go to Graz. You might wonder why I'm wearing this. Is it really that cold? Yes, it is. Please remind me that I get my sleeping bag too when I'm at home. I don't want to forget it. I'm gonna sleep in the hostel tonight and I need a sleeping bag for this. Uh, remind me. Bye bye bike. Hope you're still there when I'm coming back in three days. Sleeping bag, sleeping bag, sleeping bag, sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, sleeping bag, sleeping bag. So, on my way to Graz. <laughs> well. I'm feeling a little, I don't know, sad because I don't. that's one of the maybe not so good things about this job at the Museum of Economics that, well, you're going 
all over Austria and totally alone. You're never on a team. You're always sitting somewhere else away from home and that's something which can sometimes be difficult to be away from home but that's only on the personal level like one little flaw about this job what's positive about this job is i mean you can go around you go to all the places in austria you get to see a lot that's actually also something cool about this job so i mean yeah everything has two sides other things which are po uh, which are positive about this job is it's very flexible. I can tell them, hey, on this day I don't want to work, and then I'm not working. So it's really flexible. I mean, I'm self-employed, so that's basically something really cool. That it's a mixture between they are giving me the jobs, but I can still tell them, hey, I don't want to work on this and this uh, date. That's really positive about this job. Of course, if I don't work, I don't earn any money. So that's also on the personal level what's positive about this job. On a broader level, what's positive about this job? Well, we are doing education here. And I think really important education because it's not supposed to be like education in one direction, but really education where you can be critical, education where you're talking about the facts, uh, education where really you as a person can put in some, in some input, there's nobody or nobody controlling what I'm actually saying there. So I can put it out neutral and also say sometimes also my own opinion. That's also on a broader level, I think a good thing about this job. What's negative on the broader level uh, is that I'm going around with the car a lot and I mean if climate change is really due to CO2 emissions then I'm doing the worst here going around by car. If that's really true then I'm really responsible for destroying this planet actually. That could be one of the really bad things about this job. So there is positive and negative about this job. I'm feeling a little down because I have to leave my home. But I'm gonna be back on Thursday again, back in Vienna. It's okay. Let's go to Graz.